Hey YouTube, my name is Gus. At 23 years old, I sold everything, bought an old trawler in Maine, and cruised it down the coast of Florida. I decided to document the adventure on YouTube for anybody to enjoy. While spending the winter on my boat in Miami, Florida, I got an email from one of my subscribers who needed his 1997 Albin 34 moved from New Bern, North Carolina to Buffalo, New York. Without hesitation, I took on the adventure. When I called up my dad, he said, I'll go with ya. So without further ado, subscribe to the channel and tag along for the ride. As always, thanks for watching and enjoy this series from North Carolina to Lake Erie by boat. Dad, it's your birthday today. Happy birthday. So we went out for breakfast this morning and we're getting ready to take off from Clyde, the free docks. Went for a walk last night. There's a massive, massive cemetery with gravestones that are from the mid to early, early to mid 1800s here. It's really cool. Nice town, free electricity, free water, free pump out, free bathrooms. Awesome. So, we're gonna get ready to continue on down the Erie Canal. We have about 40 miles to do, which doesn't sound like a lot, but with like five locks, those really slow you down, so. So yeah. We'll get ready to get off the dock here. Goodbye, Clyde, New York. Hope I'm back here. You know, I've been thinking the Erie Canal is an awesome boating throughway, but it doesn't seem very busy, and it seems like an awful lot of work to keep this thing open with all the locks. So it's like you know, how long could this last? I feel like in my lifetime they'll close this thing down, which kind of sucks, but I could be wrong. Um, I hope they don't, but you never know. I'd like to come back here in my own boat and do the whole canal uh, leisurely. Some friends, you know, have a good time. It's amazing all the little towns and places that I've seen over the course of the last, you know, year. I've seen so many amazing little boating towns. I'm super grateful. So we're gonna continue on and our next lock's gonna be coming up here in a little bit. Looking forward to it. I don't wanna jinx myself. Well, I gotta wrap up those dock lines too. My dad will come out and wrap them up, but. I don't want to jinx myself, but I haven't hit anything yet in this canal. Um, there is just floating crap everywhere. I mean, it is not hard to hit something in here. You have to be on top of it. You need to be looking, avoiding every second of the way through this whole canal. Here's a good example of a section to avoid. Straighten her out. It's 
a dangerous place through here. I mean, the little twigs you can kind of run over, but I try not to. Oh, we got another one straight ahead. Go around that one. response on the radio thus far but uh we'll wait for this one to open up and then we'll go on up There's a rainy one out here today and we're coming up to lock 29 
Lock 30. Sticker's making a mess. Stick's making a mess. These guys destroyed boats along their path. Totally destroyed people. This is, I think, the last lock of the day. And then we're off. Is it? Yeah. I think so. Bye bye, lock 30. Alrighty, so we are coming up to a lift bridge. Actually, the first lift bridge on the whole trip that we've had to request an opening for. So it's coming up here. I'm going to radio them and uh, see if they'll open up for us. E128 lift bridge. E128 lift bridge. This is Siren, channel 13 over. Fort Main Bridge. I uh, see you. Let me get this bridge out of your way, Captain. Copy that. Thank you very much. Over. Just like that, they're going to open it up for us. Good morning from Pittsfield, New York. We are out of here, almost in Buffalo. We got another couple days ahead of us here. Um, slow moving the next couple days. A lot of no wake zones. So it'll probably take us uh, three-ish days to do like a hundred, a little over a hundred miles. Um, just because we're such we're slow moving we got locks bridges um, and no wake zones I think it's all no wake actually so um, yeah but all is good just fired this thing up we're ready to go so we're gonna get this thing going and we'll be on our way all right we're pulling into lock 33 right now I wasn't able to video lock 32 because it's freaking windy out today we got no thruster and I was focused on driving the boat, getting us into the lock, so. Um, this is lock 33, I'm gonna put the camera down, but I'll time lapse it once we get in here, over. All right, this lock's much better than the last one. It's much newer, the wall's in much better condition. This is like a new lock, it almost looks like, pretty new. Um, and it has cables, so we can tie right up like that, which is awesome. Spencer Port, New York. Look at the way that this bridge goes up. It's 
pretty crazy. It, it goes vertical. I had never seen a bridge like this, um, besides like the temporary bridge in West Palm Beach, the train bridge. Um, or I don't think that was a train bridge, but yeah, this is a permanent vertical lift bridge. Pretty cool. Spencerport, New York. Nice little restaurant right there. Very, very cool. Ingersoll Bridge, Ingersoll Bridge, Ingersoll Bridge. This is westbound motor vessel siren, over. We need a response from these people over here at Ingersoll Bridge. Ingersoll. What do we got swimming across the bay right here, Dad? A beaver or something? Oh, it just dove underwater. I think it was a beaver. Otter. 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 Beaver. beaver. Something. Well, we have a no comprendo situation here at the Albion Lift Bridge E199. I think these guys run more than one bridge, so he's probably at his other bridge right now. Although I see his other bridge right there, and it doesn't look like it's up. So maybe he's on his way back here. Huh. We'll figure it out. And we are good to go on the second bridge. Nice. Very cool. Very nice bridge tender here in Albion. Very cool. They have, they're having a major parade here in town today. They basically stopped the parade to let us through. Wild. This is the Knollsville Lift Bridge. Woohoo! Making some time. So we are at Medina. Canal Port Medina. New York. And we're headed for Lockport today. Um, we just stopped here midday. We're gonna stay here, but decided to get to Lockport today. Bye bye Medina, Lockport, here we come. <laughs> Medina, Medina Bridge. I love all these bridges, the way they go up. It's really cool. Pretty cool. Middleport lift bridge. I saw these gaps and I thought I hit both gates at the same time, but apparently I didn't. Gasport lift bridge. Nice. Next stop, Lockport. We are entering Lockport, New York. Passing Niagara Fiberboard Incorporated. Approaching the Extreme Exchange Street Bridge. Doing about eight knots, cruising through the canal. Beautiful day. Choo choo! Gonna open up this bridge for us. We're good to go. We got two locks to go through lock 34, lock 35. And I, these are the last two locks of the whole trip, actually, so should be exciting. I will time lapse. I will time lapse these two locks. I'll time lapse this bridge too, actually. We'll get the whole perspective. You're gonna get a time lapse of the bridge and the two locks all in one. Can't beat it. It's gonna be the whole package deal today. Siren, over. Go ahead, Captain. Hi, 
Hi, we're a westbound motor vessel looking to come up in your lock. I see the doors open. Are we clear to enter for a port side tie over? Hey, that captain, you got the green light. Copy that, thank you. Here we have a perfect view of the last lock on the Erie Canal in operation. This lock has two sets of doors. This is the west end of the lock. Lake Erie is that way. And Albany is that way. <laughs> 